Hello, my name is Alison Finkelstein and I'm Senior Historian at Arlington National Cemetery. I'm standing in our new exhibit created in honor of the 2021 centennial of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. It is my pleasure to give you a tour of this exhibit so you can experience it from anywhere in the world. This exhibit uses the tomb as a lens to explore the cemetery's larger history. It shows how Arlington's development impacted the tomb's origins, and it uncovers how the tomb shaped the evolution of the cemetery itself, revealing its changing meanings over time. This intertwined story is told through 12 richly illustrated chronological panels that each cover a specific topic. As visitors interact with the exhibit, we hope it will inspire them to reflect on how the tomb has transformed Arlington. Our exhibit begins with Arlington's origins as a plantation before the Civil War. It traces how this land came under the stewardship of the U.S. Army, who used its strategic heights for fortifications, and later as the site for a freedman's village for formerly enslaved people. Starting in 1864, the Army also utilized this land as a military cemetery. Included among the many Civil War fatalities buried at Arlington were the graves of unidentified soldiers. In 1866, a special tomb was even created here for the remains of 2,111 unidentified soldiers. Named the Tomb of the Civil War Unknowns, this mass grave set the stage for the creation of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier after World War I. Advances in technology made World War I among the deadliest conflicts in history. Improved weapons killed at an alarming rate, and trench warfare left millions dead and unidentifiable. Devastated families mourned, and nations grasped for ways to honor the dead, especially unknowns. Americans looked to Arlington and also watched how other nations dealt with this tragedy. In particular, Americans found inspiration from Great Britain and France. On November 11, 1920, the anniversary of Armistice Day, they each honored one unidentified service member in a special tomb. Great Britain buried their unknown warrior in Westminster Abbey, and France eventually buried theirs under the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Many Americans wanted to do the same thing. In 1920, World War I veteran and representative Hamilton Fish introduced legislation for an American tomb. After some discussion, Congress ultimately chose to locate the tomb in Arlington. With the opening of the grand new Memorial Amphitheater in 1920, Arlington was increasingly seen as a site of national importance. With the addition of the tomb, Arlington's status would be elevated in ways that would shape it for the next century. The selection of America's unknown soldier took place in chalon sur marne France on October 24, 1921. Four sets of unidentified remains had been disinterred from four American cemeteries in France. Throughout this process, the U.S. Army tried to ensure they were burying an unknown who could truly never be identified. Decorated World War I veteran Sergeant Edward F. Younger selected the unknown by placing a spray of white roses upon one casket. After a series of ceremonies, the unknown left for the U.S. aboard the USS Olympia. The outpouring of support from the French forged an eternal connection between Arlington and France. Once the unknown arrived in Washington, he lay in state in the Capitol Rotunda until the morning of the funeral on November 11th. An elaborate military procession took the unknown to Arlington National Cemetery for the funeral. Held at Memorial Amphitheater, it drew tens of thousands of people to the cemetery. Nationwide, two minutes of silence connected the country to the events at Arlington. The funeral created a new set of traditions at the cemetery and put it in the global spotlight. Now home to the tomb, Arlington drew even more visitors as people made pilgrimages there. Although it remained incomplete and lacked a guard during its first few years, it quickly became an important site for ceremonies and mourners. Many who came had no other grave to visit. Pressure to perfect the tomb's final design soon increased. After replacing the original architect, a nationwide design competition selected Lorimer Rich and Thomas Hudson Jones to finish the site. Completed in 1932, their simple design featured 
a sarcophagus inscribed with neoclassical carvings. By World War II, the tomb was such an important part of commemoration that some called for the addition of another unknown. After being delayed by the Korean War, a dual funeral for one World War II unknown and one Korean War unknown was held in 1958. This distinguished Arlington's tomb from other nations. Most did not add unknowns from later wars. The tomb was now even more uniquely American. The Vietnam War prompted similar, more heated debates. Even though recovery and identification techniques had improved, making unknowns less common. In 1984, one unknown from the Vietnam War was buried at the tomb. But in 1998, this unknown was disinterred and identified as U.S. Air Force First Lieutenant Michael J. Blasey. Following his family's wishes, he was reburied at Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery. The era of the unknown soldier, it seemed, had come to a close. Even without a Vietnam unknown, the tomb remains a multi-generational shrine. The empty Vietnam crypt was rededicated to all missing service members from that conflict. The tomb has come a long way from its origins as the grave of a single unknown from World War I. Through its expansion, the tomb now represents all of America's unknowns, no matter where they lie, and all American war dead more generally. With the 1948 edition of Tomb Guards from the U.S. Army's 3rd Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard, the changing of the guard ceremony has added yet another layer of tradition, drawing more people to Arlington from around the world. For 100 years, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier has been the heart of Arlington National Cemetery. From its creation in 1921 through its development, the tomb has brought great change to Arlington. As our exhibit explains, the expansion of the tomb and the cemetery went hand in hand, each impacting the other. We hope this exhibit has helped you experience the cemetery in a new way and encouraged you to contemplate the tomb's meanings.